Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so what are we doing at the moment? Uh, we have got uh, our new shed down there. The doors are being put on at the moment. We've got an electric roller door there just to keep the rain out and what have you. Log deliveries are ticking along. Processing again here, bagging up logs. Uh, around the back of the new shed, we're also putting a uh, rainwater harvester butt. So we're gonna be pouring concrete shortly on that. So yeah, let's go take a look. So there it goes. Got a little scissor lift there, helping them out. <clears throat> Just got to do the remaining steel. Here we are coming around the back. <clears throat> Just laying out the boards now. Just to hopefully get the wagon in tomorrow with the cement. So yeah, they're just doing the last of the pool there. Putting down the slab. Managed to get the truck round, which is all right. So a little bit of bad weather, which I thought might stop us, but it's okay. Here at the kiln, doing kiln change. We now stack them three high, so we can just increase the space that we've got. So those are nice and topped up, ready for the next load. So an order here, which are long logs. For a customer who wants 16 inches, so they've been in a week, put them another week, they'll just be at the front and then we can get out and deliver them. So we split them open because it just increases the drying time when you there's not much air come not much drying comes out the butt the these round ends. So you've really got to split them open and get the action, the air all over them basically. So there we are, there's that kill change done. Here's our very nice outer door on the barn where the wood chip boiler is. So that's just going to keep the rain out. I might put a little security cabinet over this. Um, we want total security here if we started storing valuables in here. Probably worthwhile. There we go. Just need to finish off the rest of the cladding. And she'll look really nice. Okay, guys, can you tell what it is yet? So we are going to try and make a trommel out of uh, one of our old augers. And uh, these are the bits of steel that have arrived. Here comes the big man himself, the boss. <laughs> so guys, we just got a new grab here. It's not, uh, it's not like the other way, which was swinging it's a fixed arm and I got that really because I thought it would be useful when we're doing the arm logs or some kind of chipping it just gives a much better hold on on things it doesn't swing around so much that's why I don't want to stand on log piles but it was quite expensive but I think in the long term it will pay itself off so thank you for all those in the comments who've said you should have it um, i've got some arb logs over there just poking over the top of the clamp so we'll get dave and the chipper sat up one one day and just chuck over the top here um we've just done a kiln chain so i've refilled the bins 
but I'm going to put them back in place now. So, another load of dried wood chip. This stuff isn't too bad that I'm on at the moment. It's just in the high 30s, so I'm just taking it down a little bit. Not too much left of all that stuff we chipped in the wood. Okay guys, so I put all the wood chip that we've been drying into the barn. I can never push it in very far because the bucket weighs so much. And there's a big block of space uh, behind on this wood chip as you can just see there. So I'm gonna grab the mat bro, put the pusher on and just push all this chip up. Uh, I can probably do the same a little bit on that side as well. Um, so that just tidies everything up in here and gives a bit more space. Quite as good this Matt Brown machine as compared to the JCB there, but Ray's using the JCB to scream, so I'm just jumping on this old girl just to get a little bit of space here. And you can see, you just start pushing up, you can then add a lot more, a lot more wood chip in this shed. And when you get the walking floors, they soon. Like you've got a lot, but it soon sucks out fairly quickly at 100 cubic metres at a time. So, yeah, there we are. Just put the four wheel drive on, the button down there. And we're just skidding about a bit. First gear. a little bit at a time just like a dozer just scrape a little bit at a time and you get a good amount at the end of it right so that that's all pushed up then it's giving us a good lot more space i'll just use the bucket for this final little bit on the floor and we'll just go and have a look see how much space we've got still in the shed got heat from when it was in the dryer. Yeah, that's not too bad. They've got up pretty high. I could probably have somebody spot up here and just push a bit more. But there we go. Having that extra panel high means we can get nice and high in the shed. Just that thing away down there. Right, let's just push up the last little bit there. So that's all pushed up now, neat and tidy. It'll give us room for the next two bins, which will empty tomorrow afternoon in here and get another load dried for the weekend, which is great.
So guys, we're just down at the bottom plant. I was going off doing a bit of mowing on the headlands uh, just before we get to the maze cut next week. Um, we've got Will and Ash from Red Kite here. They are renewing the pipe work. Um, when we put in that big uh, secondary digester, um, half of that is gas. And when the sun gets on it, it heats it up and the gas comes roaring out. And it's too much for our regional gas dome, which is the small one over there, which only holds uh, about 100 cubes of gas. So not very much at all. Um, and what we were then doing was having to flare off uh, gas or try and burn it in the boiler or worst case, just venting it, which is what you're not supposed to do at all. So I then went out and I went to uh, a guy who was selling this second hand from his AD plant and we put this on and essentially this is like a buffer vessel that captures all the gas that comes out of our secondary digester um, and it absorbs it during the day and then releases it back into the engines at night when that secondary digester cools down uh, but we had um, the NFU come around here and insure the plant and they wanted a um, disease report done on it so the deer man came out one of the things he didn't like was the scaffolding and we had a flexible hose to take the gas from the bag and back again um, and so he wanted everything put here take no scaffolding um, and then a hard pipe solid pipe rather than this flexible pipe uh, so that's what the guys are doing they've got the hard pipe down there so all this scaffolding came down he said it was quite wobbly uh, personally I disagree I think it's pretty hard but you know he's a guy who has to put his name on the bottom of the certificate and if anything goes wrong at the plant uh, I suppose he's going to have to face questions uh, so all this is going to come down we've poured some concrete here and the lads are putting in some steel struts up to, to take uh, the extra uh, weight of the pipe so we'll see how that goes in a bit looking good Dan Frame is coming on nicely. Is this going to be the bottom or the top? Uh, this is upside down. Upside down, right. Yeah. So you'll have legs on it and yeah. Yes, these are the legs. Yeah. I think we've got a bit of a gap <laughs> for big logs. <laughs> yeah. It's got some weight. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to move in a storm, is it? No. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. Okay, guys, we're just here in one of our maize fields. Um, it's quite a mixed bag on the maize at the moment. Some of it's ready to go. Uh, some of it is certainly not ready to go. This is about midway in between. Uh, I'm just going to walk further into the field. It's always a bit deceptive. You see the brown leaves here and you're starting to think that it's all like that but we are on the edge and as you go further into it um, you start to see that there's more and more green coming which is what our uh, maze expert was saying to us but <sighs> when you grab a green leaf and tear it up in your hands it's uh, certainly got that green smell to it so we'll just keep walking in a bit even though this field was planted last, it's on quite thin soil uh, it was ploughed and that's enabled the crop to get away well and then mature early. Um, the other, I suppose the other, the other thing is, you know, you have these, uh, when we do different styles of cultivation, you tend to find that the, the stuff that isn't ploughed on our land always seems to come a bit later because uh, we're just getting these very droughty dry um, periods um, so yeah still a bit greenish but this would probably go the cobs are certainly ready uh, they're hard so yeah I mean this is a sort of midway field we're going to have a look at some other ones and see where they are so this crop here is definitely ready to go uh, it's all all really turned it was ploughed and then drilled first and then we had a bit of weather these uh, fields here were also ploughed um, but they're uh, 
<clears throat> they got drilled last, so about three weeks behind, so you can really see the difference. <clears throat> um, that one's always been a good field. It was ex-grass, and uh, this one's a bit more patchy. But yeah, another week, I suppose, and we're probably ready to ready to go. Just see what the weather's like this week coming up. Hopefully it'll be nice and dry. Okay guys, so here's our new pipe work that the Desir has to have basically solid pipe. It's a pretty substantial piece of steel, this as well. Um, this is our old pipe work. Just a bit of a flexible tube really. Did the job, um, but as I said, our man doing the report didn't like our scaffolding, said it was dangerous. Um, which, yeah, I suppose it's, it's lasted for five or six years pretty well. It doesn't show any sign of deterioration, but there you go. Sometimes the law's a law, isn't it? Um, anyway, it's going over the top. The guys are going to finish off next week. It's just got a straight forward over, and it's going down into that little hole there. So there we are. They'll finish off next week. We'll just go and have a look around the other side of the gas bag. See how far they've got this side. Just waiting for a few more spare parts. Yeah, they've got some of it connected up. You can see how it's going across the concrete pads that we poured and it's going to come down. So they're going to do some sort of system here. Yeah. I mean, it's a good thick tube, that's for sure. Pop it up third half a centimetre or something. So pretty meaty stuff. Anyway, certainly won't need replacing. We won't have any gas leaks in it. <laughs> Which this one is starting to deteriorate. But um, anyway, it's a bit of a shame we couldn't have used the existing platform. There we go. Such is life.